audio jungle. Massaging the one ball. Yeah, it's just, it's just the templates are great. Don't get me wrong, but they can get worn out a little bit. And you can get a bit of inconsistencies at times. Obviously, not near as much as a regular triangle, you, uh, but. Mm -hmm. Well, Dennis definitely needs a big break here. A solid break. And position, he wants to control. Probably as much as anything. Uh, they're not tracking tonight. Oh, the five got kissed in. Oh, he's on top of the one. He's on top of the one with really no offensive play. So he's going to have to bring the cue ball probably back behind the nine. Yeah, I like that. Just leave the cue ball up. Uh, I mean the one ball up on top on the top rail. Just come short of the. You know. Yeah, you come short. The diamond comes short and, and roll up on and the dive, dive, yeah, yeah. below it a little bit. You could use behind the ten too as well and bank the one over by the three. That's not land bad. You kind of draw off of the one a mm -hmm. little bit more for that one. But you do have two balls to hook them on, so that, that kind of makes that one a little more enticing. I think he's still going behind the nine. And he's found his way there. Yeah. Look what he's oh, doing. No, he's left the gap. He's left the shot. Oh, wow. I believe there's a shot there. Uh, I couldn't guarantee you there's. Well, Jeffrey's shaking his head. Maybe no, not. <laughs> no. There's a jump. Well, even the jump shot's a little tight by the eight. Yeah. He's got the jump cue. But I was going to say, look what he's done with this one ball. I was thinking about holding it close to where the six ball is he went he took it all the way across and used the three ball and the eight to come into play and I think it was like one of those fighting it kind of shots if you're uh -huh. trying to hold the one up behind that seven over there I think you were fighting it he just went ahead and let it let it roll out hit it mm -hmm. just a touch thicker on the one and let it just go over definitely intended Interesting looking jump cue there. Different colors. It's awfully tight by that eight ball. Just got to get it up in the air. Well, he's only jumping half a ball, right? As far as the nine's yeah, concerned. Yeah, as far as the nine's yeah. concerned. Yeah. Wow, and he drew it back for position on a 2-10 combination to win this match, it appears. Wowzer. How do you get that much power on that jump kind of jump shot? Like, I don't see many people be able to draw the ball with the jump cue. Now, back in the day, we did it with the with full, a, cue, full cue a lot. Yeah, yes. That was quite a shot. Yeah, that was pretty gross there. That was quite a shot. He was elevated too. I mean, he was way up there, almost like a like a straight up Massey shot. Well, he's got a decision here because he can cut this two in the side and gain position on the on the on the three. So, doesn't have to play this two ten combination by any means. Now, because he's not straight on the two ten, he's got to cut it a bit as well. Mm -hmm. I was looking at it. Now, if he plays the two ten. It looks like he may be able to bring the cue ball behind the nine. No, he's got to cut it the he's other way. The way. That's why. That's why he's got to cut to the top side of the two. I believe. That's why. Uh, gotcha. Yes. Yeah. That's yep. why yep. cutting the two to the side isn't that bad of a play for in my mind. Also, mm -hmm. and instead of playing the combination, I think if you play the combination, it's give it its best shot with with ignoring some safety because. Mm -hmm. Try to move the cue ball. The cue ball is not going to move a ton. So you don't have to cut it. Give a it ton. all you got yeah. to make the ball. Yeah. And then let the chips lay where they might. Now the one thing you might think of is the two might go off in the side pocket here off the ten. So you may move the cue ball into a little bit off position on the three just in case the two goes in and you miss the ten because you're not going to get it back most likely. But I think you'll probably fire this in after that jump shot. The shot on the eight the last game. Oh, oh, he tried to get safe with the two with the cue ball. He didn't do bad. Dennis has a choice here. OK, 
Okay, you could put them up on the on the seven. It looks like that lays real nice to come off the two two rails, two rails. and plant them right on the back of the seven. It looks like it anyways. Oh, okay, this is a better shot. It's gonna come well, out. Oh yeah, it came out it's a lot. Come out. And lucky to get him elevated a little bit. Maybe not. He's gonna shoot this two three, right? No. Either that or he's coming around to get back behind the nine. Yeah, but that's the sevens in the way. Yeah, I like him leveling out, trying to roll this two three in and, and just going past it a little bit. Yeah, so he's looking at trying to come back. Yeah. And that's too I think sharp. This is just yeah. as tough as the combination myself. I agree. Especially still controlling the two ball also. Because you got to draw off the off the two. You can't hit it naturally and run the cue ball. I think uh he shot at a 210 that was a winner, and I think this one's a winner as well, that being the three the two, ball. The three ball? Two, yeah. Three. The two might leak over a little bit, but it ain't going to leak over a ton, I don't think. He's taking his time. Considered the combination at all, I don't believe. I don't think so. So he's stuck on chipping this two and running the cue ball some type of way. And if he's got to draw off this two ball to hit that gap between the six seven, I don't like it too much. And I, I think that has to happen. I don't think he likes it either. That's why he's hesitating and is taking so much time. High ball? That's okay. Like hit before the, the green six and run the cube. Okay, that's the oh, shot I liked shot, all yeah. all along. Now make you a bank to get on to the to, to, to the winner's side final here, Jeffrey. You banking this on the side? Yeah, you got position on the okay. six on the top rail. I mean, I don't see any other reason why not to. You could play safe, I guess. Mm -hmm. soft bank uh, I mean I don't know I mean I like to give it a real good chance to win I understand you're playing a bit of a two-way here mm -hmm. but I think the bit of a two-way is still there with the medium speed on the bank I mean okay. you could hit the point come back on you but I'd sure like to give it a good chance of going in He's afraid, he's afraid of bumping that seven and sliding into the corner well just shove it forward just shove the cue ball forward to the mm -hmm. rail and Jeffrey takes a lot of time on some things that you know, he's trying to get himself settled. But I think sometimes that extra time on, on something that's really kind of looking you in the face can really make you figure out ways to, to hit it incorrectly. All right. Which is a good brings up brings up a question and a good point. He's made the ball yeah, and right. ended up perfect. Well, he got lucky yeah, not lucky. to get corner hooked. Yeah. And he's got enough angle to come off uh, for the seven. But shot clock. I've heard people say uh, here and there that the shot clock can, shot clock can actually help you uh, because you're, you're not thinking, overthinking things uh, well, when you shoot. You know, I don't think necessarily any of these guys are, are the types, but I've, I know types that are going to figure out a way to, to lose. Uh, I hate to say it in such a, a, mm -hmm. a demeaning manner, uh, and I don't mean it in a harmful way, but we've all... Well, I know exactly kind of know those yeah, types exactly, of people sure. or those sure. players, not really people, but their games sometimes yeah. do that. And when there's a shot clock, I, I, I totally agree. Sometimes it, it'll save a person like that. Sure. You know, at this this level here, it's very few and far between that you can that those words really carry and, and mean something. But I think if he pockets once he pockets this eight ball, Dennis might just concede or will he let him finish it out? Well, just I mean, it may depend on where the cue ball gets, uh, but yeah, well, yeah. he's going to get good on this nine. Well, he came back and got on the rail straight in, so I don't know oh, about wow. how good that is. No. And wow. That's, and that's what I'm wondering. What like 
Well, I, I was thinking he's having wow. real good shape on wow. this. I he's never got thought he'd, I never saw him, like the worst saw him get back there. Get. Besides yeah, this, being snookered. This breathes a little bit of hope into Dennis. Well, he's. I would roll this in anyways and take the cut in the side. Why would you try to miss this nine ball? At least give yourself a chance to win. Uh, you roll the nine in. You can bank the ten if you mm -hmm. like. Cut the ten if you like. You can play safe on the ten if you like. But if you elevate here, I think you're making this 50-50 on the nine. Wow. Well, I guess it's somewhat like a jump shot for mm. for Jeffrey. Yeah. He's gonna. It's gonna work out for him. Heck, if it is. This ain't going to work out for anything but maybe losing the match. Uh, Dennis is going to cut this in. <laughs> and if he doesn't cut it in, he's going to bank it in. Oh, this was, uh, again. Well, what I meant by working out is he didn't leave an uh, easy uh, one. Uh, yeah, it was he didn't not, leave it's an not easy a throw shot. in, but. Yeah. But Dennis should And should how do you not level, level the cue and roll the nine and take the shot on the ten? Okay, that. It's going to be pretty good speed, it looks like. And Dennis Okuyo just. Uh, going to live to play another game here on the winner's side in the U.S. Open 10 ball. Never, th I never thought I'd see Jeffrey put that ball on the on the rail. And have to elevate or even want to elevate. But here he is breaking for the match. He's broken the balls real good. But this is this is the last one. The hardest games to win are the first and the last. But like uh, Jeremy's been saying at this level uh, it's not that's not quite as true. Well yeah, that's that's it. And yeah, they get fired up for the for the last and the first. Yeah, well, the first leads to that last for these kinds, <laughs> and sometimes it leads it to them quickly. Uh, but man, uh, you know, we're here to play devil's advocate, and I love all these players, but some, just really alarming a couple of decisions. Uh, but he's broke the ball so well; it's almost like. We talked about with Tyler Stark mm -hmm. occasionally mm -hmm. make a mistake and then that that incredible break shot you own uh, can make up for it. Well, here's a good a good time for it to make up because he can win the match with this break. Well, one thing about the, the elevating on the nine is he already hit the eight poorly like he didn't want to. And don't complicate more. Let's just roll the nine in and take a cut shot on the ten. Oh. He's okay. Yeah, he, and Jeffrey's he, one of the few one? players. I don't think he did. He make one? five. Nope. No, I don't think so. Uh, so. Well, and Dennis is probably not going to waste much time trying to run out here. <laughs> Cut the one in the side. Go three rails <laughs> for the carom on the yeah. on the two six or the two seven rather. Doesn't the two ball go by the seven? Oh, maybe it just. I thought at first glance it didn't. Oh, maybe it doesn't. Either way, he's going to be playing offensive at it. One way or another. Okay, that's got to go a long ways. Because if it does it does go, I don't think it's got an entire pocket. One good thing is the three goes in the side as well. So he can roll past here and get for the three in the side. He may have to take a little longer shot on the four, but uh, that's just part of it. But that ball slowed down a lot, right? Considering did, I thought it, when he first did. released the cue ball on the one, I thought it was going to be plenty to get around much fuller on the two. Yeah, it bit at the end there. Now is he going to just slow creep this by the by the seven and hold for the three in the that lower I, left corner? The more I look at it, the more I think it does not go. Wow, really? And the more I'm wrong. <laughs> He held it nicely for the three ball. Funny little shot here. You'd like to think, well, I just draw one rail into the back of this 
what is it, the seven there or something, to, mm -hmm. and, and everything should be okay. But man, you hit that seven just right, it stays right in your way. If you hit that five ball full, the cue ball, the cue ball slides up towards the four, coming off the rail. Yeah. True. Yeah, if you try to come between the five and the eight with the cue ball, more than likely you catch the five and you slide right out. And it won't be it won't be traveling real fast. But Dennis hits. He's hits doing that. A nice he's, touch. he's going into something here. He's not going back and forth. Yeah, nice shot. Very controlled. Mm -hmm. That little touch of outside here to come over for the five. Yeah, just you're one rail. Pretty yeah. comfortable just throwing the ball here. It's an easy way to play on this slick table. Mm -hmm. well, some will stay away from it. I understand. Wants to. One less rotation on that ball, he would have been perfect. He's worked himself to where he's in complete control. Wow. He's done. Stop. Come off the rail a little bit. And he's right on the 10. And a hill hill with Dennis breaking. A couple of big mistakes by Jeffrey DeLuna. Huge ones. Huge mistakes. Well, Dennis won five out of six games to start it off, and then Jeffrey came back with six games of his own. And then they traded punches, and Dennis got the last two. And we're tied at eight. Yes. Dennis won the first two games. Jeff won one. Dennis won three. Jeffrey won six in a row. That was Alex Pagalion came over to look at the monitor. Open the match with a break and run, and certainly like to finish the match with one as That's well. That's a good point. I forgot all about that. He did. He opened it up with a real nice break and run. I mean, it was a solid break. It just looked good from the get go. No, actually, it was a tough shot on the one to start with. He had a look at the one, but it was a little bit of, of a tough shot, and he fired it in and it just ran out. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. A little fist pump. Bump, fist bump, excuse me. And we've had a few Hill Hill matches yeah. here on this table today. And they ended up 9 7 and 9 7 with the Hill Hill Corey and Torsten. Last time he broke the balls, or one of the times he broke the balls, he jumped it off the table. Now it's stopped. Ball's in. Got a shot on the one. Elevated on the four. It's all right, though. He's thin enough. I think he can get. Well, I don't know. This yeah, is no, funny. Yep. This is funny going back and forth on the from the one to the two. Yeah, I will say things haven't come real easy for Dennis since the first part of the rack, the first part of the match. Yeah. May call, may bank it, may bank this. Uh, don't think so, but he, 
He's not. He's, he'll bank it before he really threatens scratching with the cue ball somewhere or something like that. Now the one thing is he wouldn't mind hitting down on it. Maybe he comes one, two rails for the two in the same pocket. Maybe three rails, something like that. Mm -hmm. um, well, he's called it in the corner. I think he he pointed at the. Upper yeah, he's right -hand cutting corner. it. He's, he's cutting, cutting it, it so far anyway. That's what he's called. Really, let's see if he can gain position here. I think this is this very, is, very tough. This is a tough shot. He's going to be real close to that four. Yeah, I think he may end up on top of the two if he tries to go back and forth or a little steep on it anyways. Maybe not on top of it, but oh, he hit it great. And he's going to creep into a nice position on the two. And I don't expect uh, anything to happen badly for Dennis from here. Yeah, Jeffrey's oh, going to be in a, line here. Going to be a little bit, bit ill about losing this match. And I understand it, but you just can't let any of these guys, especially a guy like Dennis or Julio, stick around by some unforced errors. Mm -hmm. Kind of straight here. That kind of straight from nowhere here. Not taking much time, so he's not too worried, meaning he's going to pinch behind it for the seven on the opposite side. Stop it for the eight. Well, he's got a little bit of an angle to run towards the eight. Yeah, just punch towards just the eight. There's not a problem. I thought he was straight in. The nine's real accessible. So, meaning if you have options on the nine, there's not a whole lot of things that can go terribly wrong. Now talk about a ball being conceded. <laughs> this 10 might be conceded here in just a moment and with a little frustration. Great oh, match. You All right. Jeffrey DeLuna will meet Shane Van Boney tomorrow. Dennis will be playing.